And good morning, it is Wednesday. And today is steel day. So, it's been a bit of a hectic morning. We went to go get the last of the concrete blocks for the outer skin. And just ended up being a just absolute nightmare with the uh, traffic and all that. So, had to do a few detours, but we got here eventually. But we're here now, got the blocks. And like I said today, steel. So, just before we filmed, I've got the nib marked out so i'll be doing using the good old titan to do a few what's it i think it's called stitching i think it was called i can't, can't remember but i was just drilling the holes in just to knock out the the blocks of the pieces and then taking everything to the skip dad's getting the acros ready for setting up he's getting spot boards to put in there to, for them to sit on and he's got the well, that's not the pad stone is it this is, I'm putting this down the floor straight away. Oh. Well, that's what our pad stones are though. We've got a concrete lintel cut up. So. So. Well, and it's past eight o'clock, so I'm gonna get started with this straight away and get this seal as quick as we can. Work our way outside, block up that, and then get over to finishing off that window. That's the plan, so let's get on it then.
there we go. We are about 80% done. We've just got literally that left and that's it. I know, I've got to put a steel in yet. I mean for the knocking out. Yeah. Steel's under our feet. It's here. Ready to two meter opening, 2.4 steel, two pad stones cut at 200 mil. And then, look at that for a wall plate. It's just, it's 3x2. You got the wall plate looks thin, but it's 3x2 wall plate. You gotta love the, uh, the old fashioned builders. Yeah, but it's still standing. Yeah. Like you say, it's only a bungalow, isn't it? So. Yeah. The timber we took out of here, this lintel, was solid. Bone dry, solid, no rot, no damp. It's in the skip. Oh. So, um, after break, we're gonna get this all sorted. And then get this finished and then finish off outside. Pick the blocks up this morning. Batch is looking low. And here we go, it is after break time. I decided last minute, for the sake of three block, just took them out straight away. Saves us doing it now after break, but um, yeah, that is all done. The knocking out at least anyway. So all that's ready. All we need to do now is get a, uh, get a small mix on, get them pad stones put in, get the steel in, and we're away. So, and again, battle plan, once that is done, we will finish this side off, get the trestle set up, and then hopefully get the uh, brickwork done too. That's the plan. So, uh, we're going uh, to knock this out. Don't know where Dad is. He's vanished into thin air somewhere. So, um, I'll go find him, and we'll get this steel ready. There we go, steel's in. Up on the acro, and then I'm gonna put these pad stones in now. Ready to go in. Alex just getting a mix in. These can come down now because they're doing nothing. 
Okay, you see there's a bit of a lip there. That's because our steel is uh, 89 mil. Or is it 100? No two. Ninety-five, ninety-five, and that wall plate, believe it or not, is three b two. Yeah, so that's it. That's all cut down neat now. Pad stones going on. Done. Just a quick one. There's the saw we use. <coughs> that's the saw we've got. That was from Berries. Cost about hundred and twelve quid, maybe hundred twenty with the vat. Fantastic saw. There's the blade we use. That's that blade. That's we've had that since we got the saw. I've just used that to cut that block out. And I used it on clinker block yesterday as well. So now people keep asking about the blade. As you can see that the, the blade on the machine, we've actually cut it down because it wore on the end. So they all wore out at the end. So I just cut it down and it's still going strong. So it's usually that big. That's the blade. Bosch. Endurance brick carbide technology. I'd say it's what? It's getting on for about nine and a half inches long. But they are absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't like to cut brick with them, but it goes through more to like nobody's business soft mortar you, you're talking like for anything stronger than four to one it's going to struggle on it but it's ideal for toothing out fantastic job but that's it bosch carbide technology brick there's a couple of different ones you can get but that's one we've got i think they got between 15 and 18 quid get them from tool station berries probably get them online as well but they <coughs> Come in that kind of packet, Bosch packet. They've um, just got these flexible metal ones. They were 12 quid for five, so I'm made up with them. That's them. That's them ones. And we got this one, this wood blade. That came free with the saw. Lost a few teeth there. And that's that came free with the saw as well, that little metal one. But made up with it. Great piece of kit. And that's the blade. So anyone wondering, that's the one. And there we have it. Dad's just getting that final pad stone set up now, but we've done it. Well, we. Dad's done it. The yeah, uh, the steel is in, thank goodness. So that's the, that's the big major task of the day done today. And it's just gone one o'clock, so not awful considering the circumstances we've had. We've still managed to get this in for roughly lunchtime. So now I'm gonna help finish up this tidying up. I've moved all the stuff around to the, to the other side now, so we should be ready to get these things done now. I've got a full mix in ready, so after lunch, it's just a case of getting set up and bashing it in. So, we'll catch you after lunch time. I'm talking about having your heart broken by what's... Perhaps they use back today, go and pay for your t-shirt. Or can we pay for it in the office? I think so. Well, that's good. There you have it. I crew props are down. We're gonna leave that one in obviously just while the mortar goes off, but now that steel's up and tight, it's uh, supporting that that wall plate now, so no need for these. Yes. So we're gonna leave it into the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Take that last. You have plenty of time to go off. Yeah. So we'll give you a close-up look at all the uh pad stone work a bit later on once we've uh, once we've had our once we've had our dinner. Catch you after. There we go. We uh, we lost you for a second there. You were uh, you're in the shed, which has been uh, barricaded. Barricaded. So I've had to Indiana Jones me way to get you. So as you can tell, presses are set up, and 
We've almost got the yeah, window patched up. Just got two more courses to go. And uh, yeah, that's it, just two courses to go. Do a bit of tuck pointing and that's it. And it's just onto this, which is literally two more courses. So we'll just slide this along and get it in. So we'll uh, throw you up here while we get these last two courses in. Oh, I think I could have that. We'll uh, see you on the time lapse. There you go, jobs are good in. Yeah, I've done most of that. I've just done that, the last bit of pointing, like finished it off while I saw the stuff out down there. It's, as usual, we're on a bit of a push to get finished. It's, uh, what time is it now? About 20 past three? I think so, yeah. So, got an hour to get that in and get the flag in. Yeah. Oh, 20 past, yeah. Right, so I've got to drop this. Move it to there, get that last two course in, which won't take long. Set something up on the guttering, maybe put this guttering back on temporary, and then um, get that flag up and replace it. I picked a new one up for that. That just broke while we were digging, so one of them things, another bit of extra work to do. But yeah, that's it, that's it done. There you go. So, let's see over there.
So we're done. Half five, all done. It's got a lot of stuff left here because we've got to go to Berries tomorrow morning. We're going to number 16 tomorrow. Do a couple of lintels on that. So I've got to go and pick the lintels up. So all our stuff, no point putting it in the van. I'm going to take it up the road. So we're all done here. Flag is replaced. That was hard because there's flags under the flags and these flags are only 30 mil. Our flag was 50, which I didn't know. So that, that had to be done twice. So there's the block work done. Do you see the gutter on the top? Keeping the top covered up and that's got a slight fall on it. So uh, anything that comes off there would run off. It's sealed against the roof to keep it all dry. And the downspout just drops out there. And the gutter just drops out there. So that's good. Just got to get the door in the skip. And quick look inside. There we go. Jobs are good in. Steel in. So now this little tiny kitchen is doubled in size. So there you go hope you enjoyed the video so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button and make sure you share with your friends and hit the old button on the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a video so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one